Hey, this is our Cyber Power versus APC UPS shootout. Let's see which one we think is the best. Hi, I'm David, Tech Experts, and we help entrepreneurs to close the gaps exist across tools needed for your online business. In this video, we're going to review two UPSs. That's uninterruptible power supplies. They are a surge protector with a battery backup built in, so if the power goes out, you can keep right on rolling and working away. And we're going to review the one from CyberPower, the CP1500 AVR LCD versus the APC BX1500M. And we're going to look at them across power level, outlets, insurance, and price and see which one is the winner. So let's take a look. Number one, power. They're both rated at 1500 voltage amps and 900 watts on both of them equally. So for that, they are a draw in that category. Outlets. On the cyber power side, you're going to get six surge protection outlets and six battery backup outlets. On the APC side, it's going to be five surge protection outlets and five battery backup outlets. So Cyber power, we say you are the winner with two extra outlets, one battery and one surge. We love that. On the insurance side, for the cyber power, it's going to be $500,000 for your insurance policy. On the APC side, it's going to be $250,000 for your insurance policy. So for the insurance, this is in case an accident happens, the power surges through, somehow the the breaker isn't able to fully trip and protect everything and your equipment is damaged the insurance is what's covering you then so APC you lost because cyber power you're the winner with twice the insurance policy Wow and number four is the pricing this is interesting because we will have prices that are fairly competitive here on the cyber power side, it's $161.95 for your price. So $162 will round it up and make it easy to count. On the APC side, it's $164.99. And we round it up, it's $165 to make it count. So as far as price goes, there's only a $3 difference. Now you could say cyber power wins for that. Hmm, yeah, or we could say it's a drop. We'll leave that up to you, decide which one is the winner, or if it's truly just a draw, you can leave a comment down below and let me know which one you think is truly a winner, or if it's a draw on the pricing. So overall, let's take a look at this and review again. Power, it's a draw. Outlets, cyber power wins with one extra surge and one extra battery. Insurance, cyber power wins twice the insurance policy. Price, hmm, close. Cyber Power sort of wins, but it's only by about three bucks, so it's not really a huge game changer win. So, overall, based upon at least two of the three stars we're going to give to Cyber Power, we would say Cyber Power is the winner with this, with the CP1500 AVR LCD. Now, we believe everybody should have a UPS in place, at least one of them. Please remember there are a few things to be pay attention to. These. The batteries will be covered probably or run about every three years that so you probably need to look at being replacing them. So the battery replacement costs will be less than buying a new one, but it may be less of a hassle and you might just want to buy a new one and move it to an older device that's not too super critical if the battery fails. And number two, the longer you the more stuff you load on it, the shorter your battery life will be. So, number three, that's the number three that kicks in for me then. For number three, I would say I'd recommend you have more than one for your devices. What I mean by this is you have one for your main PC that you're working on, right? Your desktop PC with the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse. Maybe the speakers are all on there, right? Maybe something else. But that is the main device that you put on. Just really the three power items maybe about that on the power side. Everything else can go on the surge side but for your desk. Now, the second one I would say is get a second one, 
put that one in for all your network gear. By that, I mean your cable modem or your router, your Wi-Fi access point or Wi-Fi router, and any network uh, solutions you have, network attached storage, switches, or router or hubs or anything like that, you have plugged everything, all your cabling in and through, as well as any extra outlets you may need for things like the power coming into the wall. For something like fiber, make sure that one is covered as well. The reason I recommend doing this is the network gear won't draw nearly as much power as a full-blown PC, so you will get a much greater battery runtime out of the network gear being on its own device and putting it on the same device as your PC. That being said, the network gear isn't on the PC one, then that PC will have more battery runtime as well. The goal here is to keep all your devices up and running for as long a period of time as we can, hoping that the power is restored before we need to ch shut them down. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a big thumbs up, like us, share us with your friends and family. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for me so that you can be in the know when we release all the new content. We have more how do I guides, more tech tips, and more reviews like this, plus a little few you need to be in the know about as well are in there as well. So now if you haven't checked out our show's description, please do so. We have links to all the videos that are related to the UPSs in there. We have the products in there. And if you're having trouble with your tech, you're not sure about the five foundational pieces, how to back up so don't have time to put everything in place and get these pieces in place, please fill out the tech assessment. There's a link right at the top of the show's description. Click the tech assessment, fill out the tech assessment so we can determine where you're at, if we're a good fit for your needs, and how we can help you find the right solution for all your tech challenges and all your tech needs. Now, as far as products goes, these products will both be listed in the show's description. We will have a few extra versions in the kits that we will link in there as well. Please know that these are all affiliate links, and the affiliate links do pay a small commission every time you click through them, but that just helps us continue to create amazing and new content like this. Like I asked before, if you have any comments, feedbacks, or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments section down below. You can always email me or DM me if you want to chat with me. I'd be happy to chat with you. Again, I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and I look forward to working with you.